हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेशन टू ऑफ डिजिटल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इन वोकेशनल आईटी फॉर क्लास टेंथ तो सेशन टू फॉर डिजिटल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज इंसर्टिंग एंड यूजिंग इमेजेस तो दिस इज योर पीडीएफ फाइल ऑफ द ई बुक विच हैज बीन गिवन बाय सी so we will see how to insert an image and what all things we can do with the image in an open office writer file so we are going to cover these broad topics today how to insert a picture from a file in in a document so suppose this is our file and i want to insert an image in this file so for that what we have to do is we have to first click on insert picture from file okay then we have to select the file name which we want to insert okay so this will insert a picture in your file here like this and you can drag to increase or decrease the size of the image as per your requirement okay now there are two things when you are inserting any picture one is you can also you can also use a preview option while inserting a picture or you can use a link option while inserting a picture so what is the difference between these two so click on insert picture from file select the file name again and now you will see this is the option of link so if i don't select link it will just create a copy of the image okay and suppose when you are saving the file the file will be uh, will also contains the size of the image which has been inserted but if i click on link option so if i go to insert picture from file and if i click on link so this will only create a reference of the image it will not copy the image in the it will copy the image but exactly it will create a reference for the image in the file so that means the copy of the image is not there it is just a mirror image which is being there uh in the original location it will be saved in your file so what is the advantage of using link is the main advantage is that if any changes are done in this image so this is the image which we have inserted okay if i make any changes in this image and save those changes so when i open this file again whatever changes we have done in that image will be shown here also and second important of uh, uh, advantage is that uh, when you are creating a link to an image it will just create a reference of the image and the file which you save will will use less memory because when you are not selecting linking option in that case it will create a copy of the image copy of the image means as it is when you are suppose your image file contain your uh, document contains many images so when you save the file the document becomes heavier it uh, takes more space but if you insert the images by clicking on the link option it will just create a reference it will not exactly occupy the same space as the uh, size of the image so it is uh, save on the storage size of the document also and if you do any changes in this image suppose you are using photoshop to edit the image you save those changes and when you open this file again the changes will be reflected in your image also let us try that so i have inserted this image this image has a white back interior of the image is white now suppose my image was stored here okay and if i make any changes in the image let me insert the image again so that i am confirmed from where i have inserted the image so i have to click on insert image picture from file and i am taking this file ram 1 2 this is what i am taking right now and i have to click on link also and this image is inserted so it is having a white interior now suppose i am going to this file explorer and i will right click and i will simply open this file in paint brush and i will make some modifications in this file so this is my file now and i just fill some color in this file i am selecting any color and filling some color in this file okay now blue color is filled inside the file inside this image i am saving this image okay this image is saved i will close the application now and now if i am opening this file if i am saving this file closing it and opening the file again now i will see uh, this was my file recent documents so now you will see the changes which we have done in the image 
has been reflected in the file in which I have inserted this image. So you can see the blue color inside this image also. So this is the use of link. If you modify the image, so all the files which contain the linked image will also be modified. Okay, this is the main advantage. So now you understand the difference between preview and link. Preview means simply copying the image. By default, whenever we insert an image, it is a preview option. And then linking means create a link or reference to the image. You can also insert an image using Control C and Control V for paste. This you already know. So if you want to insert any image in your file, you have to press Control C. Like I'm pressing Control C. And wherever you want to insert the image, suppose this is my file. And here I want to insert an image. So I'm pressing Control V. So this is how also I can insert an image. Control C and Control V. Simply copy and paste. Okay, inserting an image from a, from a scanner, using a scanner, suppose you want to insert an image, you have to scan an image and that image should be inserted in your file. You can select insert picture from file and then click on scan and click on select source. Once you click on select source, you have to select the scanner name here if it has been installed in your system and then click on select. So it will scan the image and that image will be inserted in your file. Now inserting an image from a gallery. So you already know that uh, Open Office Writer has a gallery of images. You can insert an image from a gallery also. I'm just clicking on it and deleting it. So for that you have to click on this option. This is in the standard toolbar. You can just move your mouse on these tools. It will show you the name of the tool. So this is gallery. Click on it. It will open a gallery of images. Select any image which you want to insert. And then you can click on insert copy again insert copy and insert link can be selected here also this image i have inserted here if i want it so you can see there are various categories of gallery images okay and if you want to close this gallery click on this gallery tool again it will close the gallery uh, images from here okay so you can also insert an image from a gallery now we will see how to use a picture toolbar so once you insert any image this toolbar will automatically come this is a picture toolbar or on the right side you will see the properties of the picture toolbar you just try out all these properties yourself it's very simple you can increase and decrease the brightness of the image contrast like i'm increasing the brightness decreasing the brightness of the image you can see the difference here okay contrast also you can try out or less contrast of the image okay then color mode gray scale that is black and white mode then black and white mode is there watermark option is a watermark like a logo of a company you might have seen in certificates or letterheads there's a logo of the company which is coming in the background of the page fade it out so that is watermark effect default i am taking it default to get back to the default image transparency level also you can increase and decrease how much transparent image you want so you, these things you can try out yourself to see the difference in the images. So little transparent image is becoming a little transparent now. Then after that, uh, you can increase the width and height of the image from here. Okay. Uh, so these are the options. We will see what are the use of these options. For that, I will open another file. Okay. So now this is a wrap option. So suppose I have written some text also in the document and this document contains an image also so how do i want the image to be positioned along with the text that is the use of wrapping option so wrap so this option is there on the right side in the properties bar or you can also go to format you click on wrap and then you will get all the options so let me take it from here so you can go to format wrap and then you will see all the options or you can select it from here so i'll take the first option that is none okay so this is the default way in which the text will be displayed second is before okay no change another third one is after that means after the image the text will be inserted none that means top and bottom in this case i have inserted on the top and bottom of the text uh, bottom of the image the text has been inserted parallel so this is through that means the text will flow through the image and the last one is optimal Whatever is optimal, whatever is best for the uh, for the document, 
that positioning of the image will be selected let me do it from here also format wrap wrap off wrap off means whatever was the original positioning of the image was there that is i have inserted the image after the first paragraph and before the second paragraph so the uh, text is inserted on the top and bottom of the image format wrap page wrap so this uh, will place a paragraph on the sideways format wrap optimal page wrap that is the same thing because this is the optimal way in which the paragraph can be inserted along with the image wrap through in the background in the background means the image will be inserted in the background and you can also read the text okay as a background of the document the image has been inserted okay i am pressing control z now so these are the various options which you can use now anchoring anchoring an image to a paragraph or to a page so if we are anchoring the image to a page it will not make any changes in the image wherever you are uh, dragging any paragraph anywhere so these are the options which can be used to control the placement of the image inside a document okay let us go back to other topics which are there okay now just now we have discussed how to use a picture toolbar so this is the toolbar again uh, uh, there are more options like if i select my uh, i'll take one more image from my file a more colorful image i will insert from gallery so if i am taking okay i'll insert this image by simply dragging it okay and then i am closing the gallery so now what i want is i will like to use this picture toolbar if this toolbar is not displaying you have to go to view and then click on toolbars option and then select picture toolbar from here this is already selected okay now these are the various things which you can try out this is next kuch filter options hai so you can just try to use these options just see the name of the filter smooth uh, smooth edges sharp edges of the image then uh, this is remove noise means uh, the background will be blurred since this image has no background so as such remove noise option will have no effect on it solarization so a threshold value you can specify from here and click on okay so in your uh, file you will see the definition of all these picture toolbar options so just see these definitions what is the use of these tools like filter color and these various effects filter effects are there invert the color of the image smooth soften the contrast increase the contrast so these are some of the options which you can try out just see the use of these options try it out because it might be different for different images some images has background also there is a, a good uh, it has two three objects in an image so it will show you better contrast or better uh, way to do these filter options okay so when the easiest way is when you move the mouse on this um tool it will show you the name of the tool so you can increase and decrease or change the color of the image also by using this option okay so now uh, so these are the various options and now the next thing is uh, cropping the picture you already know what is the use of crop picture we will just simply right click on the picture click on the picture option and then we will click on crop picture option okay i can crop a picture from the left side suppose you can see it here uh, this to uh, it is removing the line on the image how much image i am cropping so you can see the image has been cropped i will press control z right click picture click on the option of crop again now this was keep scale keep scale means once you crop the image size will automatically reduce or increase okay but if i click on keep image size so in that case even if i reduce the size of the image or increase the size of the image it will not change the image size image size will 
adjust accordingly and keep the original image size so you can see the size of the image total size of the image is same only the portion has been cut but other portion of the image has been rescaled so that the original size of the image is same okay let me explain it again so right click picture keep scale means if you are cropping any image from top bottom left or right like suppose from top i am cropping any image so obviously if i am cropping the image i am reducing the size the size of the image will also reduce so like this you can see the size of the image has is now this much earlier it was this big but if i click on the option of keep image size the size of the image will the overall size of the image will remain the same only the portion of the image will be cut but the other portion of the image will automatically relatively increase the size so that the actual size of the image will remain the same the original size of the image will remain the same as you can see so this height and width of the image is same as the original image i am pressing control z to get back to the original image now so these were the options which you can use in picture toolbar okay you can go to picture and similarly you can scale the width and height of the image from here i am increasing the width and you can see the width of the image has been increased so you will get many options from here in picture toolbar also in when you right click you can get the picture dialog box so these options also you will get which you can change for your picture okay now next is view toolbars drawing you will see there is a drawing toolbar at the bottom if this toolbar is not showing in your wind in your window or in your document you can go to view toolbars and click on drawing here so drawing toolbar has various options let me open another file and let us see what are those options so uh, you already know you can insert any line insert rectangle oval free form uh, line you can draw text callouts and these are the basic shapes which you can insert so i will insert a simple shape here and again you will get this toolbar you can fill a color inside it i am selecting a gradient color and select a color of the gradient here which you want to insert okay so you can take color gradient hatching there are various options okay then this is the option to rotate any shape so i am rotating the shape now okay then after that you can uh, suppose there are two pictures you can bring one picture back or one picture front by using this option okay then you can also place a line around this picture and the width of the line also you can select from here okay so this is the border of the picture has been changing we have increased the border width of the image from here i can also change the color of the border line okay so these are the options which we can try so there are more things which you can try from here also you can change the arrow style if uh, it allows you to add any arrow but since this image has no arrow as such positioning so no arrow came over here but you can select these options wherever the arrow styles are being allowed so try out all these properties on different shapes here okay then so these are things which you can try out simple things are there okay positioning image graphics within the text this i have already discussed how to position an image by using the text wrapping option so there are many other things which are there for you to explore you can see these options of images in the ebook which is being provided for vocational it on cbse site try out these options yourself these are very uh, simple topics see what changes these filters or these options are doing on the images so uh, better to try it out and see the changes which are being done on the images so use it practically then you will be able to understand it better and one more thing you also know what is the option what is the use of grouping objects grouping means we can select two three objects together so that whenever we make any changes whenever we edit or whenever we increase or decrease the size of the document of the objects it will be done together this we have done in class 9th also so try out this chapter all the options which are there in this chapter try out this is session 2 inserting images from open office writer for vocational it class 10 